Teratonga Park, it's a big part of New Zealand motorsport history and this is the 20th anniversary of the Targa event. The first time it's ever come to the South Island. And Pete, what has been your impression thus far of the way it's been received here? Oh look, fantastic. I think um, we were a bit concerned bringing the event to the South Island for the first time in 20 years, but uh, we've been so well received. The roads are wonderful, the people are awesome, the facilities are great, everyone's just uh, really embraced the event. So it's great to expand it and bring it into a new, uh, new audience. Big wide sweeping roads, not much traffic, underutilised roads and very well formed. Oh absolutely, I think uh, the South Island has been well renowned for, for wonderful roads for years right. and uh, certainly different to what we've been used to uh, in the North Island. Um, and yes they are a bit faster and flowing and, and that in itself has been a challenge. So the South Islanders have said hey, we can take it to the North Islanders, the North Islanders want to come down and have a look and, and have a go. No one's driven these roads before so the level playing field is good, 20th celebration of our event. So three years in the planning. And, uh, and we're here with huge smiles on our face. So you'll be back next year then? Oh, I wouldn't go that far. You know, we're only halfway through this event and uh, I've been asked that question a lot in the last couple of days. Um, we'll look seriously at it. We'll talk with the councils, the local community groups, all of the people that we've engaged along the way and we'll get some feedback from them. So it's taken me three years to plan this event. Uh, it was a bit of a, a, an unknown, um, but look, at this stage there's uh, highly, it's very highly likely that we will be seeing uh, Target back in the South Island. The event has been running for 20 years and only one driver has brought the same car and entered and completed the event for all 20 years. Mike Lowe and the little Fiat Arbath, what's brought you back 20 years in a row, mate? Well, we thought we'd do it one year, then we'd do it two years, then five, then 10 and 15. It's a magnificent event and uh, there's nothing like it in the world as far as I'm concerned. And uh, look, rather than circuit racing where you just have eight laps of everything and then two hours of nothing, Targa is 12 hours a day fully intense for six days. It's pretty not, there's not many places in the world you can get 800 k's of special stages as good as this on tarmac, is there? Oh, no, no, no. We're so lucky. I, I broadcast to the world. Anybody who cared to listen all around the world, bring your cars to New Zealand. This is the best event ever. So when are you going to get a big grunter and bring that back and have a go at overall? Well, I often get asked that. But the thing is that, uh, you know, punching above your weight is kind of satisfying. And our crew here, we work on our cars 50 years old this year. And uh, yeah, we, have, we catch Porsches and we beat Evos and all that sort of stuff. And quite frankly, it's a wonderful feeling. Halfway through, the car's holding up, and are you? Uh, the car's okay. We've had a few little dramas. Very, very fast roads here, not suited to our car at all. Although the, the London Castle stage today at Dunedin, we did get it up on two wheels a few times, I must say. Uh, so it's very, very hard on the small car, but we're going to get to the end. And uh, we're fine. You know, we're, not, we're 20 years older than we were 20 years ago, but uh, we'll be here at the end. Don't you worry about that. Oh, my God. 